I was 20 years old then. What are the risks involved? The risk involved is death with speed. Inevitably, the result will be death. Benefits far outweigh the, the risk. Of, an, of a functioning without any real sense of actual time. I, um... <clears throat> Wait a minute, I forgot how I did. See, that's the thing. It's a complicated story, how I first got into it. What did it do for you? What did it do for me? It, um... It made me, uh, it got me into a state of delirium, you might say. You know, you might say. Never eating, never sleeping, always on the go. I don't believe so. If they value their, uh, their life. Can we ready to start this experiment? I'm going to give you this cup. How did it taste? It had no taste. How did it look? Colorless. <clears throat> I'm an artist. A uh, painter? That's true. Yes. Now close your eyes first. Clo close your eyes now. What do you see? Oh, right, right, right. Go ahead. This is purple, isn't it? No, it happens to be black. Be friendly, thoughtful, join in the fun. You'll get along. I'll see you at refreshment time. Huh? Hi, Bill. Oh, hi, Carol. Well, come on, let's join the game. Swell. Yeah. We'll be focused on the experiences of our volunteer subject, Bill. Twelve o'clock. Well, the first time I was with a man who had turned me on to it without telling me what it was or what it did, except that it would make me feel good. <laughs> That might be your fault. And because I was very, very naive, I thought everything was fine. Maybe it's just that you don't know how to use... Social what? Social courtesy, Bill. Oh, and that's old-fashioned. What's old-fashioned about it? Functioning without any real sense of actual time. What's having fun at parties got to do with social courtesy? If you give me a chance, I'll show you. Go ahead. All right. First, let's get you to Carol's house to call for her. What? Oh, it's lovely. Well, I'll be. Now, go ahead and ring the doorbell. I'll stick around and help you out. And never being able to rely on anyone because they're always hung up, too. Inconsistency of life as such. And Would you give me a description of the first thing that you see with eyes closed? Twelve seventeen. This is a good time to do the control EEG, so we go next door. Frequency analyzer will show the gradual emergence of the fast frequency bands. Single light flash will block the alpha waves for at least twice as long a period as it does now. It will modify each time the visual illusions Bill is expected to see as he lies in a dark cage with his eyes closed. abnormalities in a clinical sense are not expected. Now we'll go back to the other room. Don't take all night. Hold it. Let's take a picture of this situation. Now look at that, Bill. Here Carol was trying to be friendly. And you said people aren't friendly. No, Bill. You discourage others when they want to be friendly. You'd better back up and start all over again. Concentrate solutions at the point where like boiling lead going up your arm and your head explodes into the inside of one balloon. You're not if you do some overstimulation, you're wired for three days. I don't think Carol's going to want to go up with you again unless you... Huh? Before he sits down, he remarks that he begins to walk on air. Did I touch a sore spot, Bill? Well, maybe you'd better try to be more friendly. Here and there, a forced, irrelevant giggle. Didn't I tell you how to do it? Get 
one kid that the rest of them like, get him, and the whole school will be gopin'. Yeah, I tried that today. I had a kid named Bill Strictly a Square. You leave him to me. Get up to the pad sometime. I'll do the rest. Thanks, Carol. Uh, but I guess I'll wait out here, if you don't mind. Well, all right. Oh, it's lovely. How am I doing? Better. But you might have gone inside if she asked. Well, I wanted to check with you. Just like the shimmering water, you know. Just simple friendliness. All right, Bill, you're at the... Bill, how are you getting along? All right. How about some refreshments? Aren't you hungry? It's a good idea. You could get some for Carol, too. That is a good idea. Are you talking to yourself? Oh, no, I was just thinking. I'll get you some food. Why, thank you, Bill. What follows now is called by Bill a messianic experience. You've made a good impression on people here. Listen. Concentrate solutions to the point where it's like boiling lead going up your arm and your head explodes into like an oversized warm balloon. You, you nod for a few minutes from overstimulation, you're wired for three days. Universal love, joy, benevolence, and above all, the split between thought and feeling. Well, hey, look, I finally got the... But hello, Bill. How are you? Okay, I guess. You're being very rude to Martha's mother. She thinks you're very impolite. Look at you sprawled out in that chair. You're supposed to rise when an adult speaks to you. Everybody knows that. Now, let's back up and try it again. And see if you can be polite. Come on, Bill, sit up. That's a chair, not a bed. That's better. Watch it now, here she comes. Oh, she seemed friendlier than usual. That's because you were friendly and courteous. Now, look over to your left. How would you do it? Me? Oh, well, I'm not going to. That's my thing. Not so good. Let's go back to the beginning. A good introduction makes meeting people simpler and more pleasant. Sure, you're right. But there's so much to learn how to do. Sure, there's a lot to learn. But it's worth it. Now you're getting the idea, Bill. Be friendly. Be thoughtful. Yes, social courtesy does make a difference. And it's easy to learn. You can learn by watching others. And you can even get a book on courtesy from the library. I might at that. Social courtesy does pay, doesn't it? Thanks. Oh, you just, you don't know. You, you want, you want to give yourself. You want to give yourself as much as What happens when I do this? I don't know, sort of... Uh, <clears throat> nothing much, except that uh, I was sort of getting somewhere and you interrupted it. I see. It's sort of irritating in a way, I suppose. I know, but I thought that maybe we can rest a little bit because this experience was getting to be a little overwhelming. Isn't that right? Well, I wouldn't say. I'd like to keep it up. <laughs> 305. Do you see a negative or a positive on my hand? 
Well, it's a sort of an ethereal negative, if it is. It's ethereal negative. Well, it seems to have a, a nimbus around it. A nimbus around Yes, it. red, violet, blues. Now and open uh, your eyes and look at my face. How does my face look to you uh, at this moment? All right. You don't uh, see anything A lot strange? of yellows. A lot of yellows? Yes. What else? All right, now... Uh, a so lot of greens. The background is moving into your face. I don't know how much I'm seeing or how much I'm pretending to see. A grandiose delusion implanted upon the loss of body feeling was over. I've also seen patients who have developed large tolerances and can take a very large dose too. I'd like to find out what reality I'm in. And what you feel, you see. Yes, I feel as though that I've had a sort of an entrance into uh, emotional life, uh, and yet I can't feel I'm uh, sort of anxious about the reality of it. Is that a beautiful experience, would you say? <sighs> I would say yes. Describe it again. Oh, I don't know. Hmm? giving and... You're doing fine, just try to describe. Uh, such benevolence. <laughs> what do you mean? I feel very benevolent. I mean, I feel as though uh, uh, I have no enemies in the world. Thing. 